Welcome back to another video of uh, Pal World. Today we're going to check out uh, the 4 gigabyte card, at least the one I possess. I'm going to play at 1080p and mostly low settings with the i3 12100F and 16 gigabyte of memory. I'm Dunk. Welcome to Respond PC. Let's game on. Our 4 gigabyte GPU of the test of playing Pal World with a 4 gigabyte GPU will be the IMD RX 560 at 1080p low settings. This card had a real struggle with this game, having is a uh, Almost 4 GB of VRAM full at 3.9, PEG at 100% and the CPU having a 18... 15 percentage of usage. The CPU is almost a Windows kind of idling. This GPU is struggling so much that it barely have 20 FPS. It have 22 FPS average at 1080p. That is a really bad start for the 4 GB card, but it's also my lowest performer of all my 4 GB card. Now we jump to a little bit more performance, the AMD R9 380. This card is two years old, older than the RX 560, but it perform better. The R9 380, it's like if it were the RX 380. It was superseded by the RX 480, but with changing the name and the number every couple of years, it gets confusing. To be like comparing a RTX 2080 with a RTX 4060. One is younger, but is less performer. Anyway, the R9 380 average at 30 FPS. Not much better than the RX 560, but at least we eat the 30 FPS average, which should be a good thing or a winner for the real minimum requirement. Next up, I have the NVIDIA GTX 960, 4GB variant, obviously. The card came out uh, at the same year as the R9 380, but performance-wise, depending on the game, they are quite uh, on the same level. For Power World, we get uh, 33 FPS, which is uh, 3 FPS higher than the R9 380, but it's still in the margin of error, or so maybe further the R9 380 is better or maybe further the GTX 960 is better. I'm just doing a brief and quick test but as uh, some uh, of you have uh, noted is uh, when you reach a flying mount and you go as fast as they can go the FPS uh, get a big drop. We'll see on the video in the future if I reach a flying mount what's the drop we get. Next up in my bunch of uh, 4 gigabyte GPU I have the Nvidia GTX 1050 Ti. This card came out almost two years after the GTX 960 and performed a little bit better than the GTX 960. And when I mean better is in the less than 10% better. And for Powerworld at the 1080p low settings, that means 34 FPS. One FPS more than the GTX 960. This is not much a big difference that you won't even notice. But we over 30 FPS. Highly playable. Now we're back to AMD side. It will be the RX 570. 4 GB variant obviously. Now we have a huge jump in FPS compared to the RX 560 or even the GTX 1050 Ti because now we're looking in the good high number. Uh, good and high. Still 55 FPS but it's better than the, all the other 4 GB card I've tested so far. That make that card highly playable for that game. You can maybe even crank some settings to medium settings. I know how those GPU is not a good match with that uh, CPU. Even if it's an i3, it's still a 12th gen. We have a CPU utilization of 30%. Unless you're just coping with your 12th gen platform before you get a better GPU. And I will say it again, when you reach further in game or when you reach a flying mount with all the assets flying by quickly, maybe that card won't be a good option. We'll know only when I reach a fly mount and I make a video about it. Next up is the GTX 970. This card is still two years old, older than the GTX 1050 Ti, but we have a huge bump in performance. What I mean is about 70% more performance than the GTX 1050 Ti. And even worse, it's three years older than the RX 570, which is about 10% slower in performance. But here in Power World, we get one FPS more than the RX 570. But again, it depends on the environment and it depends on where you are on the map. Maybe further in the game, you're going to see a bigger difference. Right now, it's quite similar. And that's it for today. Next one probably going to be a quick uh, video. It will be the 6 gigabyte variant of uh, GPU. I don't have many of those, so it should be quick. And thanks to have come watching and see you in the next one. Subscribe.